Okay, guys. Um, welcome to Cutie Chan, Cutie Channel again. Um, today we're gonna be learning how to draw, or should I say, shade. I'm gonna be learning how to shade. You can see I got like a My Little Pony. It's Princess Twilight Sparkle. Um, you can really do this for any animal you draw, like wolf, dog, whatever. I'm just doing a pony because it's fast and yeah. <laughs> really have no other explanation but let's get started what we're going to be looking for on this drawing is any place that you think would create a shadow like say my hands here and towards the bottom it's darker because less light is hitting it but towards the top it's really bright because my light is directly hitting it so you kind of do that with drawings like say, let's make the sun over here. Do 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 do. You don't really have to draw the sun, but that's just to help you know where the light source is coming from. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start towards the top of the body first. In our ear, since it comes inwards and it's like a shape like this, and see how it's darker towards the middle but lighter as you come outwards that's what her ear is like so you're gonna like shade just in that area and I got this funky way of like funky whatever way of shading you get your finger and you just rub it right where you shaded and gives you sorry my voice and it gives you a nice shaded spot and this gives your um, character or whatever a nice 3D shape. Okay, since most of the lights are hitting over here, we kind of want to darken it a bit more over here, like say under here a bit. And her nose. You could also like shade from her eyes, kind of. Just to show that they're getting blocked a little bit. Then you don't shade everywhere, otherwise your character's gonna look kind of eh. Yeah. And you can lighten the shading up by erasing just very lightly. Like I'm doing now. Make this a bit dark over there. Get your lucky finger tool. Rub, rub, rub. The harder you rub, it actually gets darker on that one spot. So, if you want one spot darker than the other, rub really hard, and then lighten your rubbing as you come out. Oh, gosh. Okay, I need to block the sunlight coming through my windows. But, yeah, it kind of looks horrible right now because it looks a lot better when you ink your drawings like this. I'm going to make sure you show the eye. There. That, now that doesn't look half bad. Okay. Now let's come down here. Since most of our body's being covered over in this area, we're just, we're just gonna like shade all of this right here, but lightly, not too dark, because this is just a pencil sketch. If this was all inked out, you could go a little bit harder. Handy finger tool. See how darker it gets when you use your finger? So if you wanna make that shading just a little bit lighter, go over it with your eraser and it becomes lighter and then just get your outlines back yeah also if you go like really dark by the outlines it looks like the shading there and then boop 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 there 
Okay. And I do the same over here. Most, like, even in the original My Little Pony show, um, like, it could show you on my coloring book if they have it correctly. Yes, they do. On my coloring book, like, um, see how the other leg behind the whole body is, like, a darker shade of everything, even, like, in this area? So, yeah. Um... You always want to make the ends well. Okay, stop moving. Uh, Kelly Buck keeps on sliding down. You just make that a bit darker, and then handy finger tool. You also want to make it a little bit darker towards, like, the top of here, because that's covering a lot, and you want to make that a bit darker. And most people don't shade their ponies, because in the show, they're not normally shaded all that well. But some once in a while, I'll do it. But make sure when you're shading, you don't use a regular pencil unless you're just doing a sketch like I'm doing, for instance. Unless, like, say, it's twilight, in other words. You just use a darker shade of that color. You don't go back, say, hmm, she's purple, let me use my pencil to color purple. No, that'll look retarded. You have to use the actual color and a darker shade if that makes any sense but yeah this is a long shading video and i don't even know why it's that long <laughs> but yeah that's the main techniques for shading there and well I guess you could shade a little bit like in this area here but yeah let me Get that out of the There you go. That's the main techniques of how to shade. Um, if you guys got any requests on how to do or how to draw anything, please comment down below, guys. Below. Please. It means so much to me. Um, but yeah, please, 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 please subscribe. You can also find me at Sonic Rainbow 177 um, on DeviantArt.com and check out some more of my artwork there and purchase some like prints or otherwise stuff like that. But yeah, please subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Bye.